Hey folks, uh, today I wanted to talk to you about the new kit on the block from Breville. It's the Barista Touch. Hey, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear. And if you've been looking at our website, you know that we have the Breville Oracle Touch. This is similar in that it has the screen like this with the interface. Unlike the old Barista Express, which is, it's the next generation. This machine has two programmable buttons uh, grinding and you do the tamping and the milk is not automatic you are going to choose the amount of foam that you introduce into the milk plus the temperature just by doing your manual frothing. This machine is very different. Let me go over some of the features before we dive into it too far into the programming up here. This is the automatic steam arm. This you can program on each drink and I'll show you that in a minute how hot you want the milk and how much foam. And when you put it down and turn it on and you put your cup on top of this sensor right here, it senses the temperature of the milk. Unlike the Oracle that senses it in the tip of the steam arm, this one senses it right here. And then uh, by the programming, it injects air into the uh, milk making your foam. So that's automated. Uh, the grinding is uh, automated as well to the point that it grinds whatever you ask it to put down into the portafilter. You are still going to level it off and do the manual tamp. So you're still doing some of the work. But the other portion of it is this screen right up here. You have six programmable drinks that you can do. Espresso, Americana, Latte, flat white and cappuccino and then the hot milk you can do a portion of hot milk and then you can get into making six more drinks that are programmed for you and then you can actually put your name on it let's look at this one flat white we got a double and then we can change the temperature of the milk it's at 150 right now i like it a little hotter let's take it up to 160 and then the amount of foam is four no, that's not nearly enough. Let's just take it right up there. Now, if I was to make that drink, it'll make it just like that. That's what it's going to do, which is kind of nice. So, same thing. And then when I, after I get done doing that, I go like this and I pick an, one of these icons. Pick an icon for yourself. I'm going to pick this one. Now I can name it Gale. Or you can name it whatever you want. Or you can name it Gale. I'm okay with that. So I just put in... G, A, I, and upside down here, ooh, 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 okay, L, and go check, done. Now that one is my drink. And your grind setting is over here. You still have to dial it in. You're looking for that two ounces in 20 to 30 seconds. Grind and tamp makes that happen. So if you have a bunch of people in your home and you want a bunch of programmable different drinks, this machine is great for that. It sports about, you know, I couldn't find the stats on this, but I'm going to say this is about an 8-ounce uh, uh, bean hopper up here. And true to all the bean hoppers that Breville has, you can lock it and take it out, change the beans, and then put it back in. You can also take the topper out, clean it out, get rid of any of the junk in there, and put it back on again, which is kind of nice. And if you noticed it beeped, when I took that off, it disables it so you can't use it. Back here is the water tank, which is 67 ounces, and they have filters that'll go in here as well, charcoal filters. The machine itself, as you can see, is all stainless steel. Very nice looking, nice storage spot, magnetic right here for your tamper. Little holder for the, uh, the portafilter to go into. Trip tray comes out. Again, Breville has done a really nice job on this. This all comes apart for cleaning. Has a little warning that says empty me right there. When it gets full, it'll float. So what's left? I'd say let's make a drink. Let me get some milk and we'll be right back and we'll make cappuccino. Okay, so I've got my milk. I've got the grinder all dialed in for what I want, and I'm going to make a cappuccino. So it's going to brew or grind. It's not going to brew. Got to grind first. This machine does not auto tamp, so you're doing the tamping. So that's one of the 
you know, compromises on this machine. You're not spending the same money as you would on the Oracle Touch. Level it off like you typically would. Do your T amp. Take the razor to it. Make sure that it's all, oh yeah, I'm way down there. No sweat there. Engage this in. You are not going to brew in steam at the same time. This is not a double boiler. So you're gonna do one function and then the other. I'm gonna get the milk going. I'd like to do that first. So uh, make sure that your frothing pitcher is placed on that sensor back there. And then push milk. It has to come up to temperature, so it's doing that right now. So, no auto on. You cannot control the temperature of the boiler. You do have six programmable drinks in here, which is nice, which you can control the grind, the tamp, or not the tamp, the grind, the amount that comes out into the cup, and then the temperature of your foam and how much froth it's going to have. And it adds uh, it adds the air accordingly and it's ch it'll be checking the temperature as well. You can also make uh, drinks with hot water. There's a hot water spout. I have to locate it here. It's right there, just so you know. This doesn't start registering till it gets up to about 110. So you're going to see it just sit there at a certain temperature. And then all of a sudden it'll start registering. At first I thought it wasn't working, but it is. One other feature I'm going to show you as soon as this is done foaming that it has, which is kind of nice for you folks out there that forget to do this when you're done. Right. So this started out down here. It's now foamed all the way up to here. I haven't touched it and it looks pretty darn nice. So wipe it off just like you typically would. And then when you push it down, it auto purges. It's going to squirt water out, see, which is nice. It gets rid of all the residuals in there. And now I'm going to ask it to brew. Ah, that looks real nice. Has pre-infusion, wait time. You can't adjust that though. Today we're brewing up the Black Cat Organic Espresso from Intelligentsia. Quite like that. Pretty nice, take a look at that. Nice separation, did a good job. Now if I could get some art out of it. Right, Gail, she says, yeah, no, mm-mm. The, <laughs> the other day I was demoing for a customer and I got this little teeny heart thing and she goes, oh, that's wonderful, you're so good at this. And I'm thinking, mm-mm, mm-mm, I am not good at it and I know it. So let's check this out, see what it tastes like. Mmm, that's a nice shot. Nice milk, too. I was going to tell you about the pros and the cons and who this machine is for, but you know, I think I'll just go, go drink the drink, right? Nah, I'm going to talk to you about it. Who's this machine real well suited for? Uh, somebody that wants to do some of the work, but not all of the work. You want the programming. Something um, has them uh, maybe low countertop uh, cabinets or they're hanging down low upper cabinets. This is only 15 inches tall. So it'll fit under most upper cabinets, which is nice. Unlike some machines that don't fit. Smaller footprint, auto milk, uh, has a regular pour to filter, pressurized and non-pressurized. You can get as fussy as you want to get. It has a grinder built into it. Another pro on this machine is you don't have to wait five minutes for it to come on. This machine is ready in about five seconds. Now, if you want the porta filter hot and all, leave it in the machine and leave it on for 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so. But the initial boiler is ready to brew in about five seconds. This is the fastest machine that I've ever seen. 
Uh, one of the cons on this machine that I have noticed in playing with it is the sensor for the milk down here. If you do not keep this clean, it will not sense the milk. So that's a very important that you keep any residual stuff off of this milk, water, whatever it is, grounds, keep it clean because it won't, it will malfunction. It won't register and it'll just take the milk up to boiling and keep on going. Um, other than that, I can't say anything negative about the looks. As always, Breville makes a really nice looking product. And I think the outcome was very good as well. And six programmable, dr programmable drinks, can't beat it. But like I said, the only con I would say would be that. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're doing that, when you get done, go back to this machine, leave some comments. If you own this machine, let us know your experience with it. We'd love to have your feedback. And check out the rest of the statistics on our website. It's all there. Resources, specs, everything is there. And if you don't find what you need, give us a call at Seattle Calfee Gear or email us. Thanks a lot for watching.